Hi everyone, welcome. This is Tamu. Welcome to my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. Uh, where we talk on a weekly basis about topics pertaining to cloud security, artificial intelligence, and general cyber security advice. Uh, this week, I want to talk about a very important topic, guys, which is uh, the threat detection in the cloud and the different services that can help you out. Uh, and why threat detection, you know, powered by machine learning is something that you really need to have implemented. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about AWS and AWS Guard Duty, which is one of the most popular services around. I'm going to be covering others providers also, but I want to start with this one. And this is part of a multi-part series where I'm going to be covering other services also. So uh, before we move ahead, guys, please do like, subscribe to this channel. If you haven't done it already, this will subscribe, click the bell icon. So you get notified when I upload new videos. Thank you very much for that. And that will really help the channel to grow. Okay, so what am I talking about, guys? Uh, simply put, if you have a busy cloud environment, then there are going to be too many things happening, right? For you to monitor manually. They're going to be your servers are going to be sending events. Uh, your staff are going to be doing stuff which are going to be generating security events. You will have automated applications. You might have hackers trying to compromise the system. You will have alerts coming up. How many of those things are you going to manage, right? Uh, you could have a 24-7 SOC team, which is monitoring, but even then the risk of alert fatigue is there. Uh, so this is where Amazon Guard Duty comes in and really uh, what you can save the day. Because if you do not take care of all these events which are happening, right, what's going to happen? Well, unfortunately, this is going to happen. You're going to get compromised. That, that is the reality. What is going to happen? You're not going to look at the stuff which is happening and you're going to miss out on some key events which can lead to a possible data breach. This happens to God knows how many organizations which I know. And the cloud itself, it moves very fast, right? So many uh, events are generated. So many alerts are happening. You don't know what to focus on. So that is why it's very, very important to have threat detection powered by something like automated, like machine learning in the cloud, which can help you find out what is happening and how to stop it. So this is where Amazon Guard Duty comes in. And like I said, it saves the day. What is Guard Duty? Guard Duty is like a threat detection service in AWS which uses machine learning to continually monitor your environment. It gathers data from all the different stuff which is happening. It builds up a baseline of what is normal and what isn't using AI-based algorithms, basically. To get more detail into it, so yeah, this is how it is. I'm not going to go into detail of this. This you can even check from the AWS website. But simply put, AWS is a guard duty is a completely managed service. You don't need any soft deploy any software. Just a few button clicks, as you will see, and it can start monitoring your environment. It's going to build up a, like a profile of your environment, right? What is normal and then check, uh, check against it. It operates completely independent of your AWS resources. So there's no impact. It's not going to slow down your environment. Okay. And you, you can, uh, if you have multiple accounts, you can deploy them across all of them without existing, without impacting existing operations. So you can basically have hundreds of accounts, thousands of accounts generating millions of events and guard duty can intelligently monitor it and take action against it. How does that happen? Well, to something which you already know is machine learning, artificial intelligence, right? The best thing about this is it has it's it's powered by machine learning, and you don't have to do anything about it. These are maintained and managed by Amazon Web Services (AWS). The AWS Guard Duty it does all the hard work hard work of maintaining and optimizing these machine learning uh, security algorithms. You can use Guard Duty in its simplest form, like with a dashboard. You can integrate it with the sim, and you can even automate it to take actions on your behalf. So let's take a look at it. Let's do a quick demo of this. So this is my AWS account, okay? And you can see Guard Duty. You can try it for free, okay? This is the home page. If you go to Guard Duty, this is what it's going to look like. So for thirty days, you can do a completely free trial of Guard Duty, okay? Without any like uh, nothing, no commitments at all. So let's get started, okay? Let's yeah, let's click on it. Oh, so this is the default screen. You're going to see. Don't need to change anything. You can just go click enable Guard Duty, okay? So this is what's going to happen. It doesn't have any findings right now, obviously, right? Because there's nothing there. Uh, but just to give you, this is how the dashboard is going to look like, the default findings, what is happening. Okay, so let's go to the usage. Usage is very important because once you start getting findings, this is where you can take a look at how much cost is being happened. You won't get charged anything, but once the 30-day trial finishes, this is you can use this to estimate how much it's going to charge you, okay? It'll give you a very good idea. Once it starts collating findings, you will see, like you will see the cost here, and you, you can do the, use it as an estimate for future, like when you want to budget and then you want to see. Okay, let's go to the settings now. Okay, so this is the settings page. Uh, if you want to generate some sample findings, let's generate some sample findings. I don't want to wait. Okay, click here. 
And what's going to happen, the dashboard is going to get populated. Let's take a look. So pretty cool. You can see all these findings now showing up, right? You can click on it. You have DNS and data exfiltration, Kubernetes, the details you can watch here, like Kali Linux, Bitcoin mining, malicious IP. So you can take a look at all of these findings. It's pretty cool. This is how it's going to look like if actually it detects actually something and you can use it to test it. You can archive these findings so that it doesn't show up. Okay, let's go back to the settings again. I just want to show you a few other stuff, which is like uh, there. Okay, you don't need to worry about the S3 protection, all this. Uh, partners is like a few of the commercial. If you have other third party solutions, these are the ones which integrate with guard duty. So it's almost like all of the major third party big security players, they work with it. Let's go back to settings. I want to show you something. So this is where you can add multiple accounts. If you have more than one AWS account, you can add it here, okay? And these are the S3 protection you don't need to look at. Uh, this is where you can add like trusted IPs. So if you're doing pen testing, you can add it here, okay? And if you have a list of malicious IPs, you can add it to the threat list here. So you can see it's pretty cool. It's very, very simple to do. Let's shut off guard duty now. Uh, I don't want to use it because I'm not doing anything right now. So once you have it, like you can disable it if you want so that you don't incur any cost after the 30 day period. So just disable it here and that's it. That's how easy it is, guys. So I hope this gave you a good understanding of how God duty is, how powerful it is. So thank you very much, guys. This was a short video, but because I just wanted to make you understand how powerful God duty is. And if you're using AWS Cloud, I really would recommend uh, using, turning it on and getting a good idea about it. AWS is going to be introducing more and more advanced techniques and I'll be covering God duty cases, use cases, more in future videos. Let me know. Okay, thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.